Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome to Super Jump Reviews. I'm Andrew, and today you're in luck because I'm going to be reviewing Injustice, Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition for the PlayStation Vita. Whew. Now this game was developed by NetherRealm Studios and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. It features all the previously released DLC, which include 30 new skins, 6 new playable characters, and 60 new Star Lab missions. It was a great game when it was released for the PS3 and Xbox 360, but how does it hold up on the PlayStation Vita? Let's check it out. I wasn't too impressed with how Mortal Kombat turned out on the Vita, so I wasn't expecting much from Injustice. But to my surprise, the graphics turned out pretty good for the most part. Although character model and detail have been extremely downgraded from the consoles, they still provide sharp and cool looking animations. All the characters behave just as they do in the comics, which help add a lot to their personalities. Watch out Joker, this one looks kinda tough, really. I especially love the intro that plays before a fight would begin. Joker's was the best in my opinion. The interactive environments are the real star of the show. Knocking an opponent into another arena is always fun to watch. These moments are very chaotic and provide the most visual eye candy. Everything moves at a speedy frame rate. The only time I noticed any slowdown was when an opponent was being knocked into another section of the environment. These events usually involve a lot of stuff happening on screen, which might make the game chug a little, but it's a very minor annoyance and doesn't really affect the gameplay at all. Graphics are good, but I found them to be pretty uneven at times. In-game character intros look the best, but you'll notice the detail drastically drop as the game transitions into the actual fight. It's not a big deal, but it is noticeable. Another problem are the cinematic cutscenes. How do I put it? They look like poop. Very compressed, low res, dark, and murky. Although it's well directed and interesting to watch, they just don't look all that great. It can be especially jarring when you go from cutscene to actual gameplay while playing the story mode. There is a slight feeling of disconnect, and it makes the horrible cinematic cutscenes stand out like a sore thumb. Other than that, the graphics are pretty good, and definitely a huge improvement over NetherRealm's Mortal Kombat for the PS Vita. The audio in this game is kick ass, especially the sound effects. All the bone breaking and environmental explosions really get you into the mood to play this game. It sounds really cool when a laser is shot, guns fired, or when some sort of gadget is being deployed. Character voiceovers are excellent as well. Everyone is well casted and sound authentic. I really like that lady that announces each fight. I hope she announces the fight for the next Mortal Kombat game. Begin. Music is good too, but I can't show that because I'll get hit with a third party ID claim. This is where things get a little tricky. There's really nothing wrong with the controls in this game. It's just the platform that it's on. I never really liked playing a fighting game on the Vita. I just think they're meant to be played with an actual controller. With that being said, the controls are responsive for the most part. I was able to perform most of the moves, but more advanced combos would take some practice. Touch controls. You guys know how I feel about touch controls. Well, they're kept to a very minimum, and so far I've only encountered them in the story mode. Every so often you'll be confronted by an enemy who likes to throw objects at you. In order to avoid the incoming attack, you must swipe the screen. Now these events are okay, and fun for like the first 5 seconds. But you soon realize that no matter if you win or lose, you still end up having to fight the enemy afterward. So in the end, it's pretty pointless. Console gaming on the go is becoming more and more of a reality. Injustice is a prime example of that. If you're familiar with the previous iteration of this game, you'll be happy to know that this Ultimate Edition is exactly that and more. Multiplayer can either be played over Wi-Fi or ad hoc. The online played surprisingly well. Finding a match was easy and I hardly noticed any lag. With additional skins, characters, and missions, this is definitely worth picking up. Although I can't say much if you're not a fan of fighting games, you either love it or you hate it. But for those who want a fast paced, good looking fighting game on the go, you can't go wrong with Injustice. Especially if you missed it the first time around. There you go guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what games you're playing, let me know what games you're planning to get, and uh, I'll see you next week. Alright, take care.